Let us start the movie booking system. So we are running the software for the first time, it will ask for admin account. So we can fill up all the details for admin. We can give any name, phone number, address, gender, username, password, then we can give employee type and date of birth. So admin has been created successfully, then the login window will appear. Then we will enter the same username and password for login. Then main window will open where we have screen, class and various options. In multiplex, we have different screens, so we will be adding screens first. So we can give any screen name. So screen has been added. Update and delete button will be visible only when we have added and clicked over here. Otherwise these buttons will not be visible. So we can update it like we can change the name, auditorium. Then update. As you can see it has been updated. Similarly we can delete it. It will show confirmation box, so we can click yes, it will be deleted. So screen has been added. Now we will add class. So we have added the screen. Now there are different classes like gold, silver classes, we will add that. How many seats are there? And what is the rate? For gold, we can keep a 200. So, when you search, it will show when we can even update it and delete it. So here we will now change the class and change the rate and add a new class. And if you search, it will show in here we can same capacity but with less rate. And now if you search, we have got three classes with different rates and same capacity. Now we will add the movie, any movie we can add like we will give a name like in Grazy Medium. What is the basic rate of the movie, as some movies are having premium rates? We can choose the poster for the movie, any picture you can take it from internet. Let us add another movie like Tanaji. Let us give more rate as it is costly movie and can choose the poster. So both the movies have been added. Now let us add seats in the auditorium. In Audi 1, in gold class, we will add gold seats like G1, G2, and like this we will add all the seats. This process has to be done only once as seats addition will be only once. Here we are adding 10 seats for gold class. Similarly, we will add seats for silver class like S1, S2, etc. Same process for all other classes.
Similarly we can add it for classic. Now let us allocate screen to movie. Let us choose movie and crazy medium or Tanaji. The rate will be shown according to that. Then we will choose date on which it was released until which date it will remain in our multiplex. Then we will choose the show timings. Let's say it is from 10 to 12. Twelve thirty PM. And then we will allocate it so you can search. And then you can change the time, make it the thirteen hundred hours to the fifteen hundred hours. Audi one and allocate. and so we have two timings. Same we can make it for Tanaji. Timings we can have is 10 to 1300 hours. It all depends upon from movie to movie. So now you can see, we can have another show. You can search now, it is having two timings, you can also update or delete also. Meanwhile, if you like our projects, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more such kind of projects. Also hit the bell icon for all updates. So now how to sell the tickets, we have to choose the date. Let's say 21st February. According to that movies will be shown and the poster will come from database. Now we have allocated two timings for that movie. We will choose 10 to 12.30 pm, then choose the class IE golden seat numbers will be shown. To choose multiple seats, press control and press confirm. It will show the seat numbers and it will show the total cost and screen name. Then give the customer name and phone number and then book. If we book for the same date, same movie and same time in class, you will see seat numbers which have been booked earlier will not come. But if we book the same movie with different date i.e. 20th February, then all the seat numbers will come. That is the main thing. Now let us book for another movie i.e. Tanaji. Anytime we can choose. Then class gold or silver. Let us choose silver. Then seat numbers will come. Let us choose S1, S2. It will total cost an Audi name. Fill the customer name and phone number and book. So that was the seat booking part. Now we can see the reports. 
Let us choose the date 21st February, 2020 and movie and crazy medium and screen 1, you can see 5 tickets were booked, 3 by Peter and 2 by Amon. Seat numbers are also coming with other details. No seats booked for other timings. Then we choose March 6th. And movie Tanaji and Two silver seats were booked. For other dates, no seats are booked. Now let us manage the employees, let us enter the details of employee along with username and password which we can give to employee for software but the worker will have less privileges. So employee added successfully, and we have two employees now. Now let us see change password, and enter old password and new password two times and password changed successfully. Let us log in with new password. And if I write wrong new password. It will show in correct password. Correct password. It will open up. And if we write wrong new password, it will say new password does not match. And if write wrong old password, it will say incorrect password. And if everything is correct only then password will change. Now let us log out and log in with worker account. Worker cannot use buttons and can only sell tickets. Worker can check the reports afterwards. Worker cannot add more workers. Worker can change password. So this completes the working of Multiplex software in Core Java. Order this project and get complete source code with database and much more only at projectsforeveryone.com. Kindly subscribe our channel and like this video and press the bell icon so that you do not miss any video.